Hi, I'm Carly from the Midland Kalamunda Reporter. This week we talked to local author Mags Webster about her first poetry book, The Weather of Tongues. Mags, what can you tell me about the first book that you've published? What's it called and what's it about? Well, it's called The Weather of Tongues. It's a collection of poetry. It's my first book. And it's a collection of poems that I've written over the last 10 years or so, some of which I wrote before I came to Australia in 2003, most of which I've written since I've been here. So it's, uh, broadly speaking, it's uh, a fairly varied collection. Um, some of the themes I explore are love, relationships, landscapes, loss, um, the idea of living in a place where you weren't born that's a very long way away. Um, and uh, I've written them um, to not, not so much to one single theme but just to bring together a sense of all the experiences um, of the last decade or so. Fantastic and what can you tell me about putting the book here in Collins? Well I got to hear about the support that Collins was giving to local authors in the Hills area, in the Swan area, because um, you're probably aware there's a lot of writers and creatives living in the area. And I'm a member of Catherine Susanna Pritchard Writers' Centre, and through them I heard about Matt, the manager here, and that he was doing a great job of supporting local authors, stocking our books, um, promoting them. So I thought, well, this could be a really good opportunity. I'm just about to bring out this book of poetry. I live just up the road in Greenmount. Why don't I pop in and uh, see whether Matt will take a couple of copies of my book, but also see whether there's something we can do that um, can promote the great work he's been doing and supporting the local talent around here. So that's, that's how it came to be. Oh, terrific. And have you got anything else in the pipeline at the moment? Well, I'm, I'm actually uh, working on a second collection of poetry. Um, that's going to be more to a single theme than has been the case with these poems in The Weather of Tongues. Um, I'm hoping that, uh, well, it'll probably be another couple of years' work maybe, but I'm also a student at Murdoch, so it's part of the, the studies that I'm doing there and um, I'm just dovetailing it in with the other work that I do because I, I write uh, for a living anyway so uh, it's wonderful to have a creative side as well as a, a sort of business side. Definitely, all right, well fantastic, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. So Matt, how many local authors do you feature here at Collins? Um, we've got between 25 and 30 um, local people that have written books in um, all sorts of different genres. Fantastic. And how did you get um, started with supporting local people? Um, well, we've always had people coming in that have written their, their own book, their story, but um, the Catherine Susanna Pritchard Centre has put me on to a lot of the uh, local people. All right, terrific. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. To read the full story about Mag's first book, you have to keep a lookout for next week's Midland Calamunda Reporter.